On the first plenary session of the week in the Senate features a report of the Joint Committees on Banking, Insurance and Other Financial Institutions, Finance, National Planning and Appropriation on the State of the Economy. The report, which also emerged from an interaction with the President's economic management team, recommended the urgent need to bring down inflation. This issue of high cost of living is real. All of us here operate from the market, whether you go directly or you, you sell your relative or your steward. My problem, sir, is that the, police, the agreements already reached between the federal government and labor with regards to the 35,000 naira increase in salaries, I was told as of yesterday it was only paid twice. What is happening to the uh, additional naira that is accruing, that is accruing to the federation account? Even local governments, their grants, their allocations they are from, the federal, from the federation account has increased. They should also go out there, procure grants and distribute. This... I mean, the, what we have at hand is not the sole responsibility of the federal government to solve. The entire system must come together, must collaborate to make sure we do the needful. Before we conclude this debate today, the rate of Naira may have moved to 1,900. What does this suggest? When a state of emergency, when it comes, to management of our economy, something must be wrong. The debate gathered momentum following recommendations for further investigation into the 10 trillion Naira Anko Borua scheme, as well as the federal government's ways and means loans. The need for clarity became expedient. It is classified as obligation, 30 trillion. This debt overhang, Mr. President, is responsible for the problems we're having, which Nobody says he knows the detail how they spent that money outside 809 something billion which this parliament, this senate approved. We have colossal amount of money given to the banks and this amount runs into trillions of naira. Some of the governors have benefited from that 18 billion naira are here. The civil senator uh, uh, you were there when the, uh, the ways and means were approved. Check, I was not there, check the record. And as I said, number one, wait now, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot approve illegality. What they did was illegal. The Senate doesn't have the right. Let it be on record. I was not there. I was not there. Take the record. I was not there, but you were there. I, I had to, but I was not there. I was not there. No one wanted to be culpable, but everyone was interested in the unfolding narrative. However, the former president of the Senate clarified the figures before a resolution is taken. What the Ninth National Assembly approved or ratified in terms of ways and means, was not 29 or 30 trillion. It was 22, but there was 819 billion to attend to, to deal and address very serious infrastructural uh, dilapidations that we had across the country. So if we have a ways and means that is 30 today, that means something happened. Between then, and now, and it's for the National Assembly to find out what happened. This is your uh, colleagues. The motion has been moved and seconded that the ad hoc committee be set up to interrogate the, uh, the, the details of the ways and means, uh, the, the disbursements and usage, particularly the intervention programs such as the Anchor World Program, such as excess funding in the power sector. Uh, such as monies given to uh, manufacturers and banks to, so, to, and the airlines and etc. to show up, which of course uh, uh, increase the current uh, uh, debt profile of the country. Now investigating the legality or otherwise of the ways and means loans was just part of the recommendations. The Senate committee also canvassed for more security, technology and incentives to farmers to boost agriculture productivity. Gloria Umezuki, Channel's Television News.
Thank you, Mr. President. My name is uh, Senator Victor Ume. I represent Anambra Central Senatorial District. Mr. President, this report from the Joint Committee of the Senate has um, traversed most of the issues on hand today. Uh, starting from their findings and their recommendations, uh, it is still a rehash of the challenges we have seen in the economy. I think what will concern us will be how to get out of these problems. And um, from the monetary and physical measures which they highlighted in 4.1 says the government should prioritize uh, liquidating the 30 trillion ways and means obligation of the federal government through a quicker resolution mechanism than the current securitization agreement arrangement over a period of 40 years. Over a period of 40 years. So this quicker resolution which the committee alluded to is vague. What do they want us to do? These obligations that we have agreed is putting so much burden on Nigeria, 30 trillion ways and means. If we see it as the thing holding out on the juggler, what are those quicker resolution mechanisms? Do we repudiate some of these obligations? Will the country continue to carry this burden that is hoisted on the country through questionable means in the past? We must be bold to investigate those things and see how we can cut down this obligation. If we continue to carry these obligations on the nation, we will not be able to go anywhere. Secondly, Mr. President, the foreign exchange management policy, which they have recommended here, I think on my own part that the major problem is supply of foreign exchange. The measures I saw here are all measures that are medium term and long term. There is no short term that is effective. This morning, somebody saw me around the bank and told me that he's ready to buy dollar, 1,780 naira. 1,780 naira. I looked at him. I said, 1,780. He said, if I have now, he will pay. In the bank. This measure that we are talking about will be a measure that will arrest this continuous increase. Boosting oil production. We know that when you boost oil production, you earn additional revenue in foreign exchange. It will help. But when will that happen? Look at what happened there yesterday. The EFCC redded the bureau the changes at zone four in Abuja here. That is a sign of somebody who is acting out of desperation. There's no physical policy anymore to rein in these things from the office. Because the CBN ought to put in measures that will immediately uh, have spiral effect on the market. So I think, Mr. Pres Mr. President, that government must give a clear direction on how to stem this tide. Thank you, thank you. The state governments are getting one second many. Away. I've also I've also read that the pressure on our Naira is from the money they are sharing. They come to chase the little dollar available with the monies they take away instead of using the money to who, who does that who does that your mic your mic <laughs> to say that 
I posted it to the Senate platform where they say that anytime after FAC, FAC, once money is distributed, two days after that, the value of the dollar, you know, the Naira will depreciate more because people will be ready to pay more money to buy dollar. Every two days after FAC, I posted it. Somebody had done this analysis, given dates of FAC and the value of the dollar two days after FAC or three days after FAC. So by that means we should know who is using that money to chase the dollars. So I think that government should also be very um, helpful. If the CBN